All right, everybody, we have about two minutes until go time. Looks like it's going to be a smaller than usual class tonight which is fine to be expected. It's a beautiful day, the end of the week. Um, it is a good one though. It is primarily lower body with some cardio. So if you have weights, you're gonna need a set of weights. Those would be a challenge option. This entire workout can be done with no weights. Um, you also are gonna want a step or a chair, an ottoman, a couch, something like that if you have it. Um, for those of you that haven't done my class before, I alternate between screen sharing and coaching you through and following along with you depending. So just just keep in mind that you should always listen to my voice for cues rather than watch my body because I will stop early both to come check in on you guys in your form and to pay attention to my timer to make sure that I don't keep you doing anything longer than necessary and to make sure that I'm queued up for the next block so that I respect your time and your availability and I get you in and out of class prompt. All right, so we have another minute and then we will begin this warm up together. So you are going to need a step, couch, ottoman, chair, something like that for the warm-up. So go ahead and drag that out now if you haven't yet. All right, ladies, 5.30 on the dot. We'll see if people uh, join us late. If not, it is us this evening. Um, I did forget one other thing. If you do happen to have a minivan, you'll want to grab that. But again, it's by all means not a priority. Okay, but right now you will need your step for your warm-up. So just like a class, eyes on me first for the demo, and then we'll begin the warm-up together. So your warm-up tonight has three parts to it. Oops, I am going to stop the screen share now that we are getting to it. All right, let's see. Do, do, do. Where am I? There I am. Okay, ladies. Okay, so like I was saying, tonight our warm up is six minutes, three exercises. We've got set up, step ups, we've got a uh, knee lift to an extension, and we've got butt kicks. So I'm using my ottoman here for step ups. Uh, I live in a small condo, so you're going to lose my head for a second, but you get it. All right, so with those step ups, all right, everything is for time here. It'll be 30 seconds on each side. So nice flat foot, I come all the way up and I come all the way down. After 30 seconds, we will switch to the other side, okay? The other exercise is a standing knee reach to an extension. I love this. This is gonna get us set up for some single leg deadlifts. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna pull that knee in to your chest and then hinge at your hips Send it behind you, so you are going to need some balance. So pull that knee into your chest, hinge at your hips, send it behind you. Okay, and then finally, we've got those butt kicks. All right, if you're not running today, I'm not going to be doing a lot of um, momentum-based movements tonight. I'm having some knee issues. So if you're not jumping today, instead, I want you to just go like so. All right, take the jump out of it really warm up those hamstrings in the back of your legs. All right, so right now, turn up your tunes. This is six minutes on the clock. Listen to my voice to make sure you know when we're going to switch. All right, Maria, we're just starting the, uh, the warm-up now. You're going to need a stair or a bench or a chair to ch step on. All right, guys, turn that music up. Get your mind, your head in the game. We are going to begin with 30 seconds of step-ups on either side. You decide. I'm going to hold my iPad here just so I don't keep you over on time. Six minutes, 30 seconds starts in three, two, one, begin. Let's go. Now, this is the warm up. So, by the three minute mark, I want you warm, but I don't want you fatigued to the point of exhaustion. So, take this promptly, make it brisk, but don't kill yourself yet. In about 10 seconds, we're going to switch to the other leg. Exhale up, inhale down. In three, two, one, switch to that other side. 30 seconds here. Depending on how high your bench is or your chair, you might need to go a little faster or slower. It's not a race. We'll be doing everything here twice. Switching to that standing knee lift to extension in three, two, one. 
Hugging one knee in, then going to that single leg deadlift out behind you. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, extend. When you squeeze in, really squeeze. I do not have good mobility, but that's what we're looking for. To loosen up those hips a little bit, wiggle it around in a circle, and then to stretch the opposite hamstring. In three, two, one, other side here. Hug it in, balance, extend it back. If balance is tough for you, look for something that is not moving. So look at, I don't know, a spot on your rug, your water bottle. You could either also place your opposite arm, like on a couch or a chair next to you to help with that balance. This should feel great in that standing hamstring. Moving to butt kicks in three, two, one, right here, butt kicks here. Again, if you want a low impact option, we step and curl. You're here for one minute, breathing, and then we're gonna do all of that again to finish our warm up tonight. If you get tired, you can always take it to the low impact option, switch. Make sure to listen to your body. Challenge yourself and never push yourself to any point of pain. 30 seconds and we're back to the step ups. When we get back to the step ups, ladies, I would like you to start on the opposite leg. So if you started on the right leg last time, let's start on the left leg this time. That's what I'll be doing. All right, on my cue, back to those step ups in three, Two, one, step up right here. Last time doing them. Abs are tight. Power through that breath. Exhale up. Inhale down. Lock it out at the top and squeeze that blue cheek. 15 seconds and we switch sides. In three, two, one, take it to the other side. My poor Ottoman, when I moved here, I bought all new furniture, really loves decorating it. I'm sure I never thought in its future it would just be stepped on. Single digits, we're going into that knee lift to extension. Honestly, my favorite thing. In three, two, one, right here. If you think of it, start on the opposite side here too. Maybe you have a little more mobility in that hip this time around. Honestly, I could do these all days. I love it. 15 seconds and we switch. Don't worry if you lose your balance. Limit the range of motion. Hold on to a couch. Pick up where you left off. Switch sides in three, two, one. Opposite side here. Good, breathe. Ten seconds and we finish with those butt things. In three, two, one, butt kicks here or low impact option like so. You've got one minute. Keep going with these butt kicks while I queue up the next block. You got this. Breathe. Thirty seconds, guys. Awesome. Really try to get that heel to your butt. If you are not jumping, make sure you're exaggerating that hamstring curl. And try to really flex that hamstring if you can. Really squeeze it. Almost done here. Gearing up for a break before we move into our first strength block of the day. You've got single digits. In three, two, one, walk it down. Take a breather, guys. Nice work. Danielle, I love your little, your little co-worker co outers. 
All right, guys, eyes on me for your next block. So for this round, if you do have a miniband, I want you to grab it now. If you don't have a miniband, it is by no means a requirement. You can do all of this without the miniband, okay? So eyes on me, just like class, I'm gonna demo first and then we'll start second. We have an eight minute block, all lower body and core. We've got squats to alternating leg lifts for 12, monster walks for six, and forearm planks to leg lifts for 12. So I'm gonna put my handy miniband on. The mini band will go right under your knees. As you are watching me demo, feel free to put your mini band on so you're ready. So first exercise is gonna be a squat to an alternating leg lift. So I squat down, I stand, I squeeze my glutes, and then I kick out that leg. So squat down, stand and squeeze, kick. 12 total, okay? Then we've got a monster walk. This is where we have to do some math. Okay, we're doing six reps here, four forward and four backwards counts as one. If you have a mat, that's going to be helpful. You squat down, you're going to swivel your leg to the outside of the mat, swivel to the outside. So one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, four counts as one repetition. So again, watch how my feet go. I swivel in and out, in and out, toes always point forward. So don't worry if you lose count, but try four forward, four back equals one rep, and we've got six total. Finally, we've got a forearm plank to an alternating leg lift for 12 reps. All right, let's see, can you see me? Yeah, okay. In that forearm plank, half tight, squeeze your butt, kicking up, little tiny lifts. Now guys, if you don't have a minivan, it doesn't matter. You can do all of these exercises without a mini band. And if you're looking for a challenge, if you're feeling really good and well rested, you can add a weight to that squat to alternating leg lift if you'd like, okay? This is an eight minute block. I'm gonna go through some with you. I'm gonna continue to check on you. If anyone forgets reps or gets confused at any time, use that chat feature, okay? So eight minute clock, turn up your music. Starting with 12 total squat to alternating leg lifts, we get to work in three, two, one, begin. You'll notice after I squat, I have to reposition the weight into my opposite leg for that leg lift. But don't lean into that hip like so. Keep it stable. Squeezing your glutes before initiating that leg lift. We have 12 reps here. Do not by any means Worry if you're ahead of me or behind me. Anyone that's ever taken class with me, I'm usually the slowest person, especially with strength. Speed does not matter. Go slow, challenge your tempo. Again, an option here if you want to challenge would be to hold a weight goblet style at your chest. Make sure you're breathing properly. It's inhale. Exhale. Don't let that minivan kick you around. Knees go out. After 12 reps, you've got those monster walks. Again, four forward, four back. Count as one rep. The lower you are in your hips, the harder this will be. Keeping your hips and your knees forward, so your steps are small. If you step too wide, your hips are gonna start opening and angling towards the foot that is stepping forward. We do not want that. Good, guys, breathe. I'm halfway, I just did three. Try to get those hips half an inch lower for your final reps. After you've got all these reps done, you move on.
to that low plank leg lift option. Take it to a high plank leg lift if you prefer. 12 reps, lifting through that loop. Good, keep working. After those 12 leg lifts, you're back to the top with those squats. I just have to tie my shoe. <laughs> 12 squats to alternating leg lifts after those planks. I'm gonna come check, make sure we don't have any questions. All right, cool. All right, guys, so with your um, second round here, the second round should always be better than the first round, either mentally or physically. So maybe you add a weight to that squat to alternating leg lift. Weight doesn't have to be anything crazy. Pick up a book or pick up your water bottle, right? Anything will kick it up a notch, right? But we're already almost to that halfway point of the block, and we want to make sure we're make getting our full worth out of this workout tonight. Okay, maybe for that monster walk, you sink it lower. Maybe for that plank leg lift, hear me out, you go slower. All right, we've got about four and a half minutes left. 12 total squat to alternating leg lift. Six total of that monster walk. 12 total of that forearm plank. You're doing great. Make sure we are breathing. Our legs are our biggest muscle group. They can handle a lot, but it's also tiring. It will make your heart rate go up if you are appropriately working here. I like to count based on the reps I'm on. So I do three, 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 and then three, 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 four, 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 four et cetera. Whatever helps you stay on track. Make sure as you get tired, those knees don't cave in, those toes don't angle out. After six of your monster walks, you're down to that higher low plank for 12 leg lifts. Squeezing your glute before you lift. Good job, guys. We got just over 90 seconds. Keep working through this. If you get back to those squats, again, better, faster, stronger. Especially with those squats, make sure those knees don't cave in. Press out against that mini band on the way down. Flex your foot as you kick out. We have 60 seconds left here, ladies. Keep 
keep working through it. I'm just going to cue up the timer for the next talk, but keep working until I tell you so, tell you otherwise. Good guys, just about 30 seconds. Let's make sure we finish up the reps we're on. Almost there. Final 10, stay moving. We take a rest in four, three, two, one, rest. All right, guys, take a breather, grab some water, turn that music down so you can hear me and my demo. Up next, before our next strength block, we have a cardio block to kind of break things up, okay? We are going to be doing 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, okay? I think we have seven rounds here, so it is decent, all right? I'm gonna be cueing you guys accordingly because the exercise itself is fairly straightforward, so I'll be taking care of that timer for you to make sure that nobody gets stuck doing more than they have to, okay? So here's what we're doing. The exercise is side-to-side -side shuffle. So if you have a weight or a target on the floor, that might be helpful. Otherwise, if you have the length of a mat, try that. You're gonna go down into that squat, shuffle to the side, tap. Shuffle to the side, tap. All right, I don't have much room. I wanna make sure you can see me. All right, so the lower you are in your squat and the faster you go, the higher that heart rate is going to rise. 45 on, 15 off, a bunch of rounds. All right, guys, so. I'm gonna get you all queued up here. Turn on that music loud. You're gonna want it loud for this cardio block. All right, listen to my voice. You don't need to see me for this block. So do whatever you need to do to get ready. We've got a side to side shuffle, 45 seconds. Round one, sink low, ladies, in four, three, two, one, begin. Good, the faster you move your feet and the lower you keep those hips, the better off you're gonna be. I'm gonna tell you right away, 45 seconds feels like a long time. <laughs> All right, so manage your breathing out of the gate. This is one of those exercises that I find tricky. The first round, you're like, eh, my heart rate's not gonna rise, it's fine, I got this, this is easy. By round three, by round four, whoo, it's a doozy. Hang in there, you got 15 seconds before that first break. If you feel like your hips have risen a little bit, see if you can sink them down just half an inch. Good, guys, you're gonna get 15 seconds of rest in three, two, one, rest right here, 15 seconds. Now with your rest, I want you to fully rest, like just stand still or wiggle around in circles, but full rest. All right, this next round, same thing. Let's see if we can be a little bit faster, but a little bit quieter. Light on our feet, let's get to work in three, two, one, begin right here, side to side shuffle. 45 seconds, good. You guys might decide you like to go a further distance than your mat. I know for me, when I was demoing, it felt a little tight. If I could, I probably would have gone longer. So do what feels right for you. Maybe you take four steps, maybe you take six steps. As long as you stay low and you're being agile, I am happy. Good, if you have any kind of low back issues at all, make sure you stay a little bit higher. Maybe you take the shuffle standing and then tap. You don't want to be angled down to the ground. So make sure you make that modification if you have any kind of low back issues. Good, we're earning that next for recovery. In three, two, one, rest. Right here, rest ladies. Good, breathe, shake it out. We have three minutes left in this block before we move on to our next strength round. All right guys, getting ready. For round three, in four, three, two, one, begin. Right here, side to side shuffle. Good, keep your hips forward. Try not to shimmy towards whatever leg. Good, Maria, so good with those fast feet. Keep your feet close together, move them fast, good. Lauren, try to take smaller but faster steps. Yeah. There we go, good. You can kind of push off that, those feet. Good, Danielle, that looks awesome. Nice, fast, agile feet. Breathe, ladies, you're all on mute. So you can breathe, you can yell, you can cry, you got this. Coming up for that rest, you got about 11 seconds until we get that next rest period. You're gonna rest in four, three, two, one, recover. Nice work, guys. All right, next round, gear up for it. Breathe. 
Two minutes left in this block before we're back to strength. Back to that side to side shuffle on my cue in three, two, one, begin. Right here, ladies. Good. Really tap that floor. It'll help engage your core. Good. Shoulders down and back, abs tight. There we go, guys. You're halfway through this 45 second effort. Only one more effort on the other side of this and we're done. You're on your second to last round. Getting those splat points in, getting up into that orange zone. All right, on my cue, we are gonna shut it down. We're gonna take that break in four, three, two, one, rest. Right here, breathe, shake it out, guys. You got one more round. One more round, then we're gonna grab our weights and we're gonna move on to some great lower body work. Let's make this the lowest, most agile round yet. We get to it in three, two, one, begin. Right here, final 45 seconds of work. Excellent, Lauren, that looks really good. You guys are all moving fast. Belly button pulled in, shoulders down and back. Again, make sure we're not peeling forward. Good guys, hang in there. You got about 20 seconds before we get to rest. You're gonna get 90 seconds at least of rest before our next block when you get to watch me demo and grab some water. If you can, move a little faster, sink a little lower for the final 10. You rest in three, two, one, recover. Guys, great, great job. All right, take a breather, grab some water, and I'm gonna queue up your next block. So here's the deal. For this next block, you actually don't need any weights unless you want them. It is a challenge option. Now, you know me, I like challenges, especially if you're feeling good. So have some weights around if you think you're gonna want them, but you don't need to. This is a 12 minute block. It's our last true strength block today. All right, we are doing a, all predominantly lower body, okay? So again, you're gonna need that chair or that couch or that bench, that ottoman, something nearby, okay? So everything is 10 reps except for our oblique crunch and our walking lunges. So first up, we've got a single leg deadlift, 10 reps each. This is basically what we did in the warm up with the knee to extension. So I balance on one foot, all right, and I'm gonna hinge back, all right? If I have something in front of me, I could always tap it. So I hinge, I'll show you from this direction, all right? I'm not bending into my knee, I hinge back with my hip. Now, challenge option would be to grab a weight, okay? If I'm using a weight, the arm of the, uh, the weight is going to be in the hand of the leg that goes back, not of the stationary leg. So my right leg is down, my left leg goes back, which means my left arm has the weight, and I go back and up. So that would be a challenge option, 10 per leg. Then we've got 20 sumo squat over crunches. So legs wide, abs tight. Hips back into that squat, hands by my head, crunch to one knee, crunch to the other knee. Keeping your belly button in, this is great for the waistline. All right, again, any low back issues, if that causes problems for you, I want you to turn this into a standing Spider-Man crunch instead. All right, then we've got a single leg sit to stand. This is where you'll need your ottoman. All right, if you can, one leg is totally off the ground, abs are tight, I come up into standing, I settle down. If you need to, tap that heel on the ground. Just don't put all your body weight into it. Try to keep it like very light. It's a security blanket to come up and down. Third option, if you're feeling crazy, grab that weight for a challenge option. And then finally, we've got 20 walking lunges. So starting, all right, I'm going to step forward into that lunge, 90 degree, 90 degree. Step through into that lunge, 90 degree, 90 degree. And I'm gonna keep on walking until you can't even see me. All right, guys, so with those 20 total walking lunges. Now be very careful, the second you walk in a lunge, it's easy to do something like this and be too close. So if you need to, meet in the middle for a minute to reset by going in before going into that next one. Challenge option there, add weight. If you don't have space for walking lunges, let's do 20 stationary lunges instead. Okay, so to repeat, we have a 12 minute walk, 10 reps each of the single leg deadlift, 
20 sumo squat oblique crunches, 10 each on the sit to stand, 20 total walking lunges. Okay, I'm gonna screen share at the beginning here so that I can spy on you guys and check in on your form. And then once I feel like you guys are doing awesome with it and you remember the rep counts and all that, I will unscreen share and I'll jump, jump in with you, okay? So starting with that single leg deadlift, six per leg, we're gonna get to work, uh, I'm sorry, 10 per leg. In three, two, one, begin. Right here, ladies. Leading with that hip. Good. Excellent. Squeeze your glute at the top. If you can, try to keep the leg that is kicking back extended the whole time. Don't ever let it stop and touch the ground again. Good. Abs tight. Good. Lauren, really nice range of motion. Do you feel it in the stationary leg? Okay, good. Everyone should feel a slight pull in the stationary leg. If you don't, I need you to try to initiate from the hip more. So don't worry about coming down with your weight or your hand. Worry about how far the hip goes behind you. So 10 per leg here. Good, remember the weight is only an option. If you have it, you're holding it in the arm of the leg that is lifting. Belly button in, shoulders tight. Keep the weight as close to your body as you can. Excellent. Don't worry about how high that back leg goes. This exercise has nothing to do with how high the leg that's lifting lifts. It has everything to do with how far back the stationary hip goes. All while staying forward. So you don't want to go so far back that you're opening up into that hip. Good. After 10 per side, you've got 20 of those sumo squat oblique crunches. Making sure that your low back is tight. Shoulders back, you're not hinging forward. Good, a lot of balance here, a lot of balance. Good, yep, perfect. So knee to your elbow, try to stay low in that crunch the whole time unless you have any kind of low back pain, in which case, again, I want you to make it a standing stationary Spider-Man crunch. Good. It's okay if you don't actually touch your knee. Make sure you're not rounding forward like a, like a turtle, right? You're still up flat with a nice straight spine. Knee is more of a target than a necessity. Good. Belly button pulled in, hips back after 20 reps. 10 each of that single leg set to stand. Remember all those options. Good, a lot of balance. Try not to kerplonk down to the seat. Go down to your seat as slow as you can. Try to fight back against gravity, but by all means, use some momentum to get up. Good, Lauren, if that ends up being too low, you can always throw a pillow on there to help lift you up higher, but you look good right now. Good, Danielle, nice job. Nice and slow on the descent. Regroup if you get wobbly. One side, too, is going to feel better than the other. And then on one side, you might be like, wow, I, I cannot do this at all. That's why we work unilaterally, because by nature, we are uneven in our strength. So the more we can work on unilateral work, the better off we'll be in matching that strength up. Good, Maria. That looks great. Slow, controlled, all strength, no, no speed. and you'll finish with those 20 walking lunges. Again, option with those walking lunges is to grab one or two weights. Option is to turn them into stationary lunges. If you are doing walking lunges, I recommend perhaps pausing in the middle if you find that your knee is going over your toe. Very, very, very important that you are always 90 degrees in the front and the back leg. Lauren, those look perfect. Literally better than the demo, girl. <laughs> You have such a great vantage point for coaching. <laughs> nice job. Awesome, guys. 
All right, it looks like you guys know what we're doing, so I'm gonna jump in here with you and stop that screen share. If at any point you forget what the exercise is or you forget what the reps are or you're just in general confused, then by all means, what I want you to do is use that chat feature. I am going to be checking in on it frequently. Otherwise, I'm gonna jump in with you guys. I'm starting with these 20 walking lunges. That looks like where most of you are now. Make sure you're breathing, inhale down, exhale up. When you're done with those 20 alternating lunges, you are right back to the top with those single leg deadlifts. Again, weight in the hand of the leg that lifts off the floor, 10 per side. Belly button in. Other arm can be out for balance if that helps. Inhale down, exhale up. Again, same here, one side will be a little better than the other. We're human, unfortunately. Squeeze your glutes hard at the top. Notice it's all about my stationary hip. Into those two most wild we crunches for 20. Belly button in, exhale. And then 10 each of that single leg sit to stand. Same thing, squeeze your glutes at the top, drive off that heel. Doesn't matter how fast you're going. We've got four minutes left in this block. This would be the time where if you feel like you know what you're doing, you remember the reps, you remember the exercises, you've got the form down, turn that music up, get lost in your own homes, get lost in your own workout. This is you versus you. Remember, all the weights are totally optional here. Grabbing water whenever you need. Twenty walking lunges. After those ten sit to stands per leg.
If you get back to that single leg deadlift, this will be your last time doing it. Maybe you grab a heavier weight. Maybe you grab a weight period if you haven't yet. You've got two minutes left. Ninety seconds here. I'm not telling you that so you rush. I'm telling you so you make the best choice in terms of weight, in terms of challenge, so that you maybe think twice about that break you want to take, since we'll get one together shortly. Good, keep working through this. I'm just queuing up that next block. Keep working. That next block is a cardio block. It is our final block of the evening. Ladies, keep working here. Thirty seconds left. Thirty seconds left. I recommend either staying in that squat or moving into those alternating lunges. If you're doing those single leg sit to stands, even yourself out on either side. Final fifteen. All right, guys. In four. Three, two, one, rest. All right, everyone breathe. All right, here's what we got going on, guys, for your final block. 12 minutes and you're out of here, home free. We've got a pseudo treadmill block, okay? I want you to consider it kind of a um, power block, if you will, because we're doing everything very short and sweet. We're gonna have one exercise that we consider your push, and what I mean by that is that's the exercise you really, really, really work hard on. That's what you make hard and you push obviously, right? Push. Um, and then one exercise that is going to be considered your base. So the goal is to continue moving and not just stand still, but the, you, you should be getting more oxygen, breathing, getting that heart rate down slightly. Okay. So eyes on me. I'll demo everything first. Your first push is going to be 30 seconds of jump squats, jumping up and down, nice and low. All right. Option, eliminate the jump, turn it into a regular squat instead. Your base is just jogging in place. Nice and easy, just keep those feet moving, okay? Then you've got an alternating pop squat. So squat, pop, squat, pop. If the popping bothers your hips or anything, do a regular jump squat or again, regular squat instead. Then we've got everyone's favorite, jumping jacks for your active recovery, your base pace. We'll move on to skater lunges here. So jumping side to side, nice and low. If you're not jumping today, you could always change it to be skater lunges, okay? Then alternating reverse lunges, just like we did with the walk, but staying still. Back to stand, back to stand, okay? And then finally, you are all out. This is gonna be high knees. So bringing those knees up, nice and high. If you are not jumping, you could always do mountain climbers, okay? Instead, nice and fast on the floor, all right? We have three rounds of this, guys. Three rounds, minimal to no break. So you gotta use those base paces to your advantage, okay? If you do need to totally stop and take a chill pill, sit something out, make sure it's a base and not a push. All right, 12 minutes on the clock. We are gonna get going. All right, let's see. All right, listening to me, on my cue, jump squats in three, two, one, jump squats right here, guys. Now, if you were ever gonna blast your music, this would be the time to do it. 
30 seconds of jump squats. Again, if you're not jumping, you're doing regular squats, full range of motion if you can. Otherwise, limit that range of motion as you see fit. Good, five seconds. We go into running in place for your base. In three, two, one, run in place here. Now this is for active recovery. So we shouldn't be getting too crazy here. Just gonna adjust my camera. Good. Breathe in. Up next, you've got those alternating cough squats or regular squats if you're not jumping today. 30 seconds of alternating pop squats in three, two, one, right here. So squat, pop. Belly button in, abs tight. Don't be afraid to breathe. I know you all sound like me at home. Jumping jacks in three, two, one, right here, jumping jacks. Now this is your base pace. So if you need recovery, you take it here during jumping jacks. Limit your range of motion if you need. Up next, you've got speed skater lunges for that push. Skater lunges in three, two, one, right here. Remember, make it a curtsy lunge if you're not jumping. After this, we move into reverse lunges. Hips back, hips low. Reverse lunges in three, two, one, right here. We finish off round one of three with those high knees for your all out. Coming up in 20. Getting ready for that all out in three, two, one. Right here, high knees, all out. Or if you'd rather, down to the ground for mountain climbers. Right here, guys. Good, breathe, belly button in. Use those arms to help pump those knees up higher. You're 15 in, 15 to go. Final 10, let's get those knees up a little higher if you can. Final 10, knees up a little higher if you can. In four, three, two, one, rest. All right, guys, you got 30 seconds here to breathe. Shake it out. You got 30 seconds after each round. We're doing all of that again two more times. Fifteen seconds. We're back to those jump squats or regular squats if you prefer. As long as we stay moving, that is your goal throughout this power endurance block. All right, guys, in three, two, one. Right here, jump squats or regular squats if you prefer. You can always add in a calf raise at the top. Our calves are very underutilized. If you're running more outside these days, you've probably been feeling it. Now, since you've done this block once before, the goal this time is to do it smarter. Getting ready to run in place in three, two, one. Right here, run in place, base pace. Good, breathe. Getting that heart rate down a little bit. Up next, you've got those pop squats or regular squats if you're not popping all around. That's your call. We go in three, two, one, pop squat. So squat and pop. Light on your feet. All right, imagine you have angry downstairs neighbors. 
If you're not jumping, again, a regular jump, or you could squat, rotate. Squat, rotate. Good, keep this up here. You got about 10 seconds before we move on to jumping jacks. In three, two, one. Jumping jacks right here. Six minutes left in class, ladies. Six minutes left in your Thursday night class. Skaters are next. Moving into the skater lunges on my cue in three, two, one, right here. Doesn't matter how far you jump, just don't let that knee ricochet. The other knee, lay on soft. You've got those reverse lunges up next. You're a minute away from rest in three, two, one, lunges here. One minute away from a rest. You know what's next. You've got those high knees for your all out, and then you get 30 seconds off. Getting ready for that all out, ladies. High knees in three, two, one, all out right here. High knees, you got it. Nice and high. 30 seconds, and then you get that break. Woo! Fifteen in, fifteen to go. You've got it. Final ten. Guys, we earn our second break before your final round. In three, two, one, rest. Break. Guys, you've got one more round. Take a breather, shake it out, grab your water if you need it. Fifteen seconds, we're back to those jump squats. This is your final round, your final three minutes of work tonight, and then you're out of here. Decide what you want to do. Decide how we're going to make this a little better. We're back to those jump squats on my cue in three, two, one, right here, jump squats. Manage your breath. Always feel free to switch to that regular squat. Even add that calf raise in. Excellent. You're 10 seconds away from that jog in place. In three, two, one. Jog in place right here. Jogging in place, active recovery. Fifteen in, fifteen to go before those alternating pop squats. In three, two, one, alternating pop squats right here. Good, 15 in, 15 to go. Awesome, ladies. Nice option, Maria. Remember, feel free to just squat and twist on that foot. Coming up on those jumping jacks next. In three, two, one, right here, jumping jacks. Speed skaters are next. We have less than two minutes in our class. Speed skaters coming up on my two in three, two, one, right here. Final time doing this tonight. So can you get those hips just a little lower? Back flatter, belly button tighter. Maybe jump a little further. 
even if it slows you down. Lunges are next. Getting ready for those lunges in three, two, one. Lunge it out. One minute left in class. Remember, use this as your active recovery. Don't go fast in the lunges. Do what you need to to get that heart rate down a bit to finish your final round of those high knees the best you can. We go in 10. High knees, your final all out, ladies, in three, two, one, action right here, your final all out. 30 seconds and your class is over. Good. Put those hands out, see if you can really tap them with the knees. 15 in, 15 to go. Get a little more intense here. Nice pace, Danielle, really, really strong. Excellent, guys, last chance to add that point one. We walk it down together in three, two, one. Walk it down. Guys, awesome job. That was a tough one tonight, in my opinion. All right? Grab some water, breathe, shake it out, do what you got to do. And if you have the time to, you can follow along with a stretch. If you do not have the time, I definitely encourage you stretch out on your own. All right, the most important part of our workout. But if you want to follow along with me, we're going to start with that nice hip stretch. All right, so we're on our back. Put one foot right over your knee. Flex that foot. You can press it out like so. Or you can bring your foot up to make it a little more intense. And breathe. Good job, guys. Option to straighten that leg at the top, get your hamstring into it a little bit. And then we'll bring that foot to the floor. I want you to leave your leg like so and just twist over to the left. So the whatever knee is on top, you're twisting open towards that side, bringing it back to center and switching. So opposite leg, flex that foot on that knee. Feel free to stay here and press that knee out or if you're looking for something more intense, Lift that knee up, bring it in towards your chest. Again, head can be up or down. Your call. Same thing, put that foot on the ground and fall over towards whatever knee is up on top. Just a little spinal twist, a little hip opener here. When you're ready, coming back to center and join me in a standing position. All right. God, and I always have to play with the camera. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of a pyramid to get our hamstring. So standing feet together, I want you to put one foot forward a couple inches, maybe a foot and a half, right? Hinge your hip back, and you should feel a nice stretch in that front leg. So again, once you step forward about a foot, foot and a half, hinge your hips back, you should feel a nice stretch in that front leg. You can just balance on your knee here. Make sure this other hip is an opening to the side so you're parallel. If you have the mobility, you can reach the ground. I just barely can. And then we're gonna do three reaches. So reach towards the ground, come up. Hips back, again, reach towards the ground, come up. One last time, hips back, reach and up. We'll take that onto the other side. Other foot forward, about a 90 uh, foot, foot and a half. And again, take those hips forward. You should instantaneously feel that stretch in that hamstring. You can stay here, or if you have the mobility to, take it to the ground. Again, big deep breath, reach, brush your fingertips on the ground, hips forward. Hips back, brush your fingertips up and forward. And again, hips back, Brush your fingertips up and forward. Guys, awesome job today. All right, keep stretching if you have the time. All right, relax, drink a lot of water, but you did great work. Thanks for coming.
Uh, tomorrow is Friday, so there's 9 a.m. with Coach Kara or 10 a.m. with Coach Allie. The Zoom uh, links, if you need them, will be shared again in the groups in the morning. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Marie. Bye. Bye.